Welcome to Winging It with Huda, the Ramadan series. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a beautiful shakshuka. Shakshuka is one of those dishes where it's a share style. It's all a one pot wonder, as they say, everything in the same pan, including the eggs. And it is so full of flavour that it's sure to please your taste buds. <laughs> For this recipe, I'm using sujuk, which is a Turkish sausage. This one is so full of flavor, beautiful spices. You don't really have to add much to this dish because that's just going to add the flavor so beautifully. I've got my fry pan heating up. Gonna put some good quality extra virgin olive oil straight into the pan. And we're gonna let that saute a little bit. So we're gonna go in with a little bit of diced onion. Next, some green capsicum, diced tomato as well, going in with the garlic. Now, quantity. Really guys, it's up to your taste buds. If you like a little bit of extra of something, add it in. If you don't really like it, leave it out. This is one of those dishes that is not, you know, precise. It's not technical, it's based on what you like. I love spice and I love dishes to have, you know, so much flavour in them. So apart from the sujuk itself, I'm going to help it along by adding a little bit of ground cumin, ground coriander, some chilli flakes, a bit of ground black pepper and some sweet paprika. Now the idea behind shakshuka is that it's a one pan meal, so even the eggs are going to be cooked in the sauce and then you just plate up in the fry pan. What better way to eat a meal? Okay, so that's reducing nicely. I'm going to help it along and add the passata. And I want just a little bit of water as well, just to loosen it. Smelling amazing. Yum. You do want the sauce nice and thick. And let this simmer for about a good 5 to 10 minutes. What I like to do is once the oil separates from the tomato, then you know that it's actually reduced quite nicely. So we'll leave that alone. Now, while this shakshuka sauce is reducing, normally what you would do is crack the eggs in the pan, place the lid over and let it just gently cook away for a few minutes. What I'm going to do, only because it's a bit, you know, extra special, this is a removable handle for the Ingenio fry pan. So I'm actually going to transfer this pan straight into the oven once I crack the eggs and let it finish off on its own. So before I crack the eggs in, I'm going to put a little bit of sugar just to lift it up and a little bit of salt. And that sauce is looking divine. So delicious, so full of flavor, exactly how I like every meal to be. I can just eat that right now. Maybe I should. It's now time to crack our eggs straight into our sauce. And now we take it to the oven. Okay, the shakshuka has been in the oven for about five minutes. It's time to take it out, dress it up, and we're going to dig in few bits and pieces. I love my micro herbs. Everyone knows that. You know what? It adds a little bit of freshness and flavor to your dish and it makes it look just so beautiful. We're going with some red vein sorrel and then I want to add some red shisu. And then this one's called shangiku. It's actually a beautiful, it almost tastes, I don't know, celery-like. I'm gonna taste it again. Slightly peppery, very fresh here, yeah, a little bit celery-like. And that's my sujuk shakshuka. Beautiful, flavorful, and really sure to fill those bellies during Ramadan. Mm -hmm.